I'm still working on the whole AI must be stopped video, but something that occurred to me that I think probably needs to get out now is the terms of service updates that these services, including Adobe stuff, are adding to make it so that they can snoop through your stuff to train their AI language or imaging models, whatever, the, the terms of service updates are actually making it illegal for you to use the software. Now, let me explain before you go off, let me explain. They require that you grant them a royalty-free, perpetual, blah, 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 sub-licensing, whatever, to do whatever they want with your stuff, basically. To just, basically, you license whatever you're working on. <clears throat> There's a problem with that. I am working in the film industry. Not the Hollywood film industry, but we've got our film thing going on. I'm filming people. I have agreements with the studios that I'm doing the work with. I upload data to them. I work with things for them. And the problem is that if I were to agree to the terms of service that Adobe, for example, is putting in their all their stuff, including Premiere, if I were to agree to these AI terms of service, well, now I'm granting them a license to something I'm not legally able to grant a license for. And the license is blanket. It's not something where... I'm allowed to take this stuff and say, oh, would you, no, no, I don't grant you a license for this item. The way it's worded, they basically get perpetual rights to do whatever they want with anything you work on. If you're doing work for other people, if you have agreements with other people, this can make it so that you cannot legally use the software because you cannot license those works. If you're doing work for hire, you can't legally use Adobe Premiere Pro to edit videos for that anymore. Because Premiere Pro requires that you license this stuff you're not legally able to license to Adobe. And it's automatic. And it's perpetual and everything else. You will be violating the agreements that you have with the people you are working with if you use the Adobe software to edit your stuff. Because you have to grant the license, it's in the terms of service, they make you agree to the terms of service, you don't own the software, so you're not locked into a specific terms of service anymore, they can just send you an email and magically change the deal, pray that they don't change it any further, and now you're sub-licensing something you're not allowed to. What are you supposed to do about this? The only choice is to use something else. The problem is, everything is jumping on the AI bandwagon. So no matter what program you use that is a commercial, whatever, all this professional software is now forcing you to grant perpetual licenses to do anything they want with your stuff that you can't do. So you, if you do this stuff, if you work in a professional setting and you work with these things and you don't own the rights to everything you shovel through that software, you are violating, if not the law, you are at least violating agreements you have with other people you cannot legally use the software, which makes free and open source software basically your only choice. And this is where the AI thing is actually going. Because everybody wants to hop on the AI bandwagon and pull all this crap, Microsoft recall, screenshotting your stuff every five seconds, and then doing AI analysis to read everything you do, to analyze everything you do, and make it searchable to you, but you know, anytime they want, they could change the terms and then get full access to your database legally. Everybody wants to jump on this bandwagon and do the AI thing, but that requires that they have rights <laughs> to, to grab the stuff and siphon it and teach things from it, which means that you have to have the rights to let them do it. And it's, it's, we're not in a position where anymore. Like, I thought Windows 11, for example, would die because it sucks. The interface sucks. The performance sucks. The customization is toast. They threw away the ability to replace the desktop stuff. It sucks for a lot of reasons. I never, in my wildest dreams, imagined that the reason that all these big corporate pieces of software would die is because they're making it illegal for you to use them in the first place. 
it's illegal for you to use Windows 11 because if you're using recall and they're taking screenshots of your stuff and you don't have the ability to license out the stuff they're screenshotting, you've just violated some sort of agreement that you have with other people. If, if you do any professional work on your computer at all, you can't use Windows 11 if recall's there because it screenshots your stuff. If you're doing any kind of professional work in Photoshop, Premiere, you can't use it anymore because if client sends you a file, you don't have the rights to that file. You're doing work for hire. So now you can't legally use Adobe stuff. AI is inadvertently destroying the legality of using this stuff. So basically, everybody is now a pirate. But they're not pirating the software. They're pirating the right to sub-assign this stuff that they're not allowed to. And that's the thing is once it's siphoned up, you can't claw it back. So ironically, Windows 11 and Adobe stuff and just all this stuff that's pulling the AI crap is going to kill itself by making it illegal for you to use it. Wow, what interesting times we live in. And my favorite Chinese curse is, may you live in interesting times. Well, holy crap, is it interesting? And is artificial intelligence not in the forefront of the destruction of proprietary software? Holy crap, what are we doing? What are we doing, bros? It's, it's a crazy world, holy shit.